Hello ladies and gentlemen, Elman G here, and welcome to my Longfellow Cabin Settlement Build. Actually, it's going to be a two-part video, because I'm not quite uh, finished yet. There's a couple of actually additional buildings I want to do, uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time, so I don't want to keep everybody waiting. Yeah, but we've got, I'm about half done, half done with the settlement. Still a lot to do. You see, you, this is the first settlement you will acquire in your quest, quest line, though you can do it a little different. You could acquire other stuff first, but uh, it's usually the first one you do acquire. Yeah, just look at it, just a little bit uh, off of Far Harbor. Actually, see, there's only one way in. I've actually got a secret door here that somebody left open. Ah, uh, okay. Let's actually let's pop out. I'm just in the free camera view right now. I pretty much got to walk all along here. We got to come by our first building. We'll get to that in a little bit. Another building here, which unfortunately there is side effect. Uh, my provisioners and stuff will get stuck there, but eh, price you pay. I mean, they're, it doesn't affect your supply line or anything. Actually, you can see here is actually our uh, marketplace. We'll get to that in a little bit. Took a little bit because actually uh, the uh, the settlement divider is like right there, so I couldn't actually you know move my because first person building really does suck. I actually had to put all these signs up and stuff uh, down the floor and then move that to there. So it took a little bit of craftiness. A little bit of craftiness. I still still need to get some supports on here, but my support beams seem to not be uh, working. Like they were working on this side, but yeah, they just don't seem to be working on this side right now. Yeah, pretty much walled off any area any NPC could possibly jump in. Yeah, we just used. Uh, good thing about this place is once you wall off the area, it doesn't need a lot to actually be defensible, because a lot of it is just the rock itself. Uh, enemies can't get up. And I kept uh, this wood as well. Because uh, I felt kind of immersive, but a little bit lore. Uh, it goes with the lore, and it just looks uh, pretty good in my opinion. So I didn't figure, eh, why not mess with it? I'm not trying to improve upon that. You see, we got our uh, water out here. I actually did put a whole long line of uh, turrets out here. Just in case anything messes with us. But I probably might replace that with something a little bit better soon. And a couple little small gaps so we can actually fire out. So we'll move up over here. Yeah, but nothing but a straight wall all along this way. So pretty much nothing is getting in. Uh, I have not had w one uh, trapper, etc., anything manage to get in here. Yeah, they, for some reason they do not figure out this door. Okay, so let's pop on. We'll actually head to my first building. Yeah, this first building's for storage and crafting. Storage and crafting. We got a bunch of posters on the wall. We got some lights. Not doing too bad. Just use a procession, most of my gear, etc. We got all our magazines, uh, bobbleheads. So I brought all that away over from the uh, Sanctuary Hills, and we'll just actually we can pop through here. And yeah, we got every uh, crafting thing you can possibly need. I think I need to add my uh, backpack uh, crafting workbench, but. Yeah, for part, every uh, one stop for all your crafting needs as well. Alright, so let's head out of here. Got a little institute balcony there. And we'll head over to our public trading area. That's where we got all of our vendors. Uh, this is the immersive vendor uh, mod. Actually, it really does bring it. It makes the vendor thing really nice. It does cost a bit. Uh, kind of bankrupted me bringing all these uh, ones out here. And the Bunker Hill caravan. As well, so you can get your other traders out here. But yeah, this is lots of little trading here. And be advised if you're building over here, there. One thing I did run into, uh, this is why I kind of added this statue and the flagpoles and everything. Because if you don't, uh, I use these concrete foundations. Because if you leave uh, little spots open here, uh, there's little uh, niches you can fall into, which are pretty much the only way to get out because you get stuck. The only way to get out, uh, created through a building here, is to actually, uh, you know, take down what you're building to get back down to the ground. So I pretty much plugged up any hole that I could possibly get stuck in. So that's the way it worked for me. We have old Longfellow's cap. I didn't really change that up too much. Because I'm going to try to keep that immersive. We got our uh, teleporter here so I can get back to the Commonwealth. D-Rad right there. A little bit of farming, of course, you know, as usual. All the settlers. The one problem with completely walling this off, for some reason they're, they're completely uh, arming themselves all the time. Like they're always looking for a fight. They're always looking for a fight. And of course, we didn't change this up too much. 
But it's actually the uh, MLG uh, power. This is totally not lore friendly at all. I just did this for kind of fun. It'll it'll pop up as you get this mod. It'll pop up under your uh, Vim refresh paint job. Yeah, it just totally doesn't go with anything. But it does uh, a little bit of Mountain Dew. So I figured, hey, why not? And then of course then we got Miniman headquarters building here. Kind of a Miniman HQ while we're out here in Far Harbor. Got beds for all the settlers. Go bunk beds. I try to be efficient. Got our own pool table. There's actually another uh, armor overhaul. The Children of Adam on your T60. Looks kind of nice. Looks kind of nice. Just regular my bed. Unfortunately, we don't have a mod yet that actually you know stops rain inside buildings. But I uh, hopefully somebody's working on that. A little bit of fridge store stuff. A little bit of additional storage on that. So that's pretty much what it here so far. So I kind of want to make this like a uh, one-stop tourist place. So why anybody would want to come to this place is anyone's guess. I didn't mention earlier, I know somebody like, well, why didn't you do this in the daytime? Well, it's nicer out. I, I, I swear by all that is holy that it is never, it's very seldom do I ever get a nice day in Far Harbor. It is either raining or foggy or just, it's really not nice. It's really not nice. So round about here, I'm thinking, let, guys, let me know in the comments uh, what you think I should add, what I should do differently, anything, ideas. Uh, probably right here, I'm going to go with a big restaurant. Big restaurant. And then I think in another space we have left over, uh, we're going to make a big hotel. Almost maybe like Ten Penny Tower, maybe. Kind of like that. I'm also thinking a swimming pool as well. I've got a swimming pool mod. We can make our own swimming pools. I thought it would be kind of nice. Maybe a little luxury spa or something. One thing I did keep original was that tree, because I kind of like that tree that's, you know, falling over so you can get across. Other than that, I pretty much scrapped everything else. So, right, guys, let me know what you think. It'll probably take me, yeah, maybe a couple more weeks to finish this up. There's still a little accoutrement. I pretty much have unlimited settlement uh, budget, but, you know, I, I do keep it in survival mode. So I do have to, you know, grab it all myself. So it is taking me a little bit longer. But so far, guys, I think it's looking good. I think it's looking good. We've got all our crafting, we've got all our buying needs. Pretty much, you you can't get in the uh, Far Harbor to attack it. So it's pretty, pretty safe. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, it does help out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next uh, settlement build.